Boeing 737 MAX 8 crashed twice at the very similar circumstances. So we are going to speculate possible cause of the crash using the physics knowledge we have, physical consideration. This is purely speculation based on all the information in the news and and, and the purpose is to practice your physics knowledge about the airplane. Okay? So, airplane works this way. The, you have a usually engine below the wing. And the wing position is set to be roughly around the uh, center of gravity. So the reason is simple. The wing generates the lift and center of gravity balance out. So when it's flying level, then engine provide thrust and the wind resistance um, drag drag hopefully the airplane shape is designed such a way that center of gravity and the drag point is same it could be slightly different depend on the airplane shape but usually it's very close so what happened is uh, if you have a pilot license like I do um, when you initially take off what's happened is see the thrust and drag has a little momentum here airplane tend to be nose up okay the how do you adjust that just like a helicopter there is another small things here called the ladder and this ladder generate the counter momentum so this counter momentum is going to push this down so airplane can keep level when it's flying so when you take off from the airport okay you want nose up so when it's reached to certain speed then lift, lift depend on the speed. You need a s initially runway. You increase the speed, generate enough lift. Then you move the ladder this way. So the tail done, nose up. Okay, and that's the way airplanes goes up, and the level. Okay, so what happened is sometimes. All the passengers sit on the back and cargo is going to be loaded on the back tail heavy and there's nobody in the first class and business class empty and the cargo is loaded unbalanced so the center of gravity move right so let's consider what's happened um, you have a center of gravity and this is a thrust and when nose up then it's going to be here and to keep the same thrust the engine power has to be increased okay and that's gonna generate more momentum to nose up and this is the bad news because it's called the positive feedback once you start having a nose up then it's a nose keep going up because you increase engine uh, power adjust engine power to keep the thrust uh, at the same speed okay now this positive feedback is controlled by the ladder this guy okay but 
when you, your cargo is already loaded, tail heavy, then it's a uh, this center of gravity shifted here. So it's already have the angle here and keep the thrust you need even more the the forward thrust we keep the forward thrust same we need more engine power okay and more engine power means the bigger momentum to nose up so if you have experience it's the tail heavy tail heavy situation you need more engine power and ladder has to be adjusted even more so let's look at the 737 the new design has engine here it's already forward from the uh, um, center of gravity so it's already the tail heavy situation and what happened is the ladder is adjusting to fly straight but once it goes nose up like a takeoff time then this momentum is much more it's increase more as you climb up then pilot naturally use the ladder to try to uh, move the nodes down okay here's a problem if software what I hear is to correct the pilot error not the correcting airplane uh, error this is the airplane uh, design issue pilot is try to correct by moving ladder to nose down okay but the software thinks that the pilot is hostile and try to correct it and stop pilot nose down that means movement of ladder limited so what happened is this positive feedback just nose keep going up and what happened is when airplane go beyond a certain angle then it's a stall means suddenly lose a lift and plunge and you see that in the jet fighters going up and stall and come down but they can recover because they're doing at the very high from the ground for commercial air, 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 airline if this happened like a 4,000 to 6,000 feet high then it's not gonna have a time to recover it's just stall and hit the ground that's it so just a speculation but that's how it works the seem like a, a mounting engine far front of the uh, wing is seem to be the big difference between 737 max and the older generation and physically that is going to tell you that the uh, positive feedback to move the airplane nose up is much greater and combined with uh, in insufficient software this is a recipe for disaster okay just a speculation but i hope you learned the physics of the airplane if you enjoyed this uh, video please check out the uh, physics uh, challenge questions and subscribe